hello students today we will take third numerical from fraction chapter let us read the statement determine whether the 10 kilogram block shown is in equilibrium and find the magnitude and direction of friction force when p is equal to 62.5 newton and theta is 15 degrees take coefficient of kinetic friction as 0.25 and coefficient of static friction as 0.30 so again this problem belongs to uh, the same category in which we have to find that whether the given block is in equilibrium or not now in this particular uh, uh, diagram one block is shown and a cable is tied to that block at one end and the other end of the cable is pulled with a force p which is given as 62.5 newton in the statement and uh, this cable is pulled uh, through a pulley some pulley is also shown the angle of inclination on which block is resting is given as 20 degrees with the horizontal and the angle of cable with this inclined surface see one line is shown parallel to this inclined surface so angle of the cable with the inclined surface is theta which is mentioned as 15 degree in the statement so we have to find whether this block is in equilibrium or not and in the second part we have to find the magnitude and direction of the friction force so in order to solve this problem the very first step is that we should first draw its free body so let us first understand what we have to consider in free body you see over here only one block is given for which we are talking about we are talking about the motion of, of this particular block so one cable is attached to this block and uh, this cable is pulled from this particular end where, and it is wrapped around the pulley as well but if you will see this whole situation carefully you will find that this particular pulley is just given to create confusion actually when we will draw the free body we will consider this particular P here only in the cable so when we will draw the free body there will be no role of this particular pulley so let us draw the free body so first of all we will draw the inclined surface that is 20 degrees inclination given to us so let us show that inclination first with the horizontal this inclined surface has an inclination of 20 degrees given in the quotient then next we will show the block now on this block we have to first show the weight of the block so let us say uh, the weight is acting at this particular point though it will act on the uh, center of gravity but uh, in order to make the free body more clear we are assuming mm, that weight is acting at this point so the weight of the block is given to us as 10 kilogram this is the ma mass so you have to convert this into newtons by multiplying this with 9.81 so we have learned in the previous problem that we always show weight in vertical downward direction so this is the point of application let us say and weight is shown in vertical downward direction so weight is 10 is the mass multiplied by 9.81 so this will become weight of the block in newtons now what is the next step next is we should show the cable so at this particular point cable is attached and cable makes angle of how much it theta which is given as 15 degrees so at this particular point we have to show a line dash line parallel to the inclined surface and on this cable we will show the pull this particular pull here so P how much is the value of P given 62.5 newtons now after this we should show the normal pressure so we know that we show normal pressure always at 90 degrees to the surface so this is the normal pressure now let us see is there any other force acting in the free body yes we have to talk about friction in the previous uh, uh, question also in the previous video which was uh, uh, related to equilibrium of the block only 
we uh, discussed that whenever we have to solve such problems we have to make one assumption regarding the block regarding the motion of the block in order to consider the direction of friction force now right now we don't know whether the block is moving in downward direction or it is moving in upward direction or the block is is in equilibrium we don't know anything at this point so let us make assumption that block is moving in upward direction so if we have assumed that block is moving in upward direction it means we have to show friction force in downward direction in the free body tangential to the inclined surface so we have assumed that block is moving in upward direction so we have shown friction in downward direction so let me label this as f now we have labeled all the forces acting in this particular situation given to us but now we have to think about x axis and y axis so let us extend this inclined surface so as we discussed in the previous video also that along the inclined surface we will consider x axis and perpendicular or normal to the inclined surface we will consider y axis now let us observe these forces now you see normal pressure is acting along y axis so it will have no component along x axis so we will not resolve this normal pressure now let us see frictional force frictional force is purely acting along x axis so it has no component along y axis so no need to resolve this force as well but if you will talk about weight weight is acting at some angle to x axis and to y axis it means weight will have its two components one will be along x axis another will be long y axis so this is the point of application we have assumed for the weight so at this point of application we have to show two components the first component will be along y axis and the second component will be towards x axis so that you can show here now as arrowhead is pointing towards the point of application so in these two components as well the arrowheads will be towards point of application now if this is angle 20 degrees so by geometry this angle will also be 20 degrees so if we have taken this angle then this axis will become cos axis this will become sin axis so i can label this as 10 into 9.81 is the weight into cos of 20 degrees similarly this component can be written as let me extend this component this side so that there should not be any confusion so this component is extended this side so i will write this as 10 into 9.81 is the weight into sin 20 degrees now we have to look for the last force this is the last force given to us 62.5 now this force also act, acting at some angle to x axis and y axis it means we have to show its components so from the point of application of this force we have to draw two lines one will be along x axis and one will be along y axis as arrowhead is moving away from the point of application so in these two components also arrowhead will be away from the point of application so this angle is given to us as 15 degrees in the statement so this will become cos component this will be sin component so let us label this as 62.5 cos 15 degrees and this will be 62.5 sin 15 degrees now we are done with the free body of this particular problem given to us I'm again repeating my words that whenever you are solving any problem related to friction chapter you have to draw free bodies clearly and free bodies must be accurate now after this we will apply the same logic that first of all we will find uh, what is the force required to maintain the equilibrium uh, sorry frictional force required to maintain the equilibrium then we will calculate normal pressure then we will find what is the maximum frictional force available for this particular situation if the frictional force required to maintain the equilibrium will be lesser than the maximum friction acting in this particular situation then in that case we will consider that the block is in equilibrium but if the calculated value of frictional force required to maintain the equilibrium 
is greater let us say then the maximum frictional force acting in this particular situation then for that case we will say block is in motion so it means first of all we have to make assumption that this particular block is in equilibrium so if this block is in equilibrium that means we can use two equations summation fx is equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 let us first use summation fx is equal to 0 that means what whatever forces are acting along x direction add those forces and equate those equal to zero because we have assumed that block is in equilibrium so let us see how many forces are there which are acting along x direction one is 62.5 cos 15 degrees second is frictional force third is this component 10 into 9.81 sine 20 degrees now you see this particular force is acting towards right so we'll consider this as positive frictional force is acting towards left we will consider it as negative and this particular component of the weight is also acting towards left so we will consider this also negative so final equation will become 62.5 cos 15 degrees minus F minus 10 into 9.81 sine 20 degrees equal to 0 so from here we will be able to calculate value of f we will call that value as the frictional force required to maintain the equilibrium so if we will solve this particular equation we will get this value as 26.81 newtons now we will apply the second equation we will say summation f y equal to 0 so let us see how many forces are there which are acting along y direction first is this component of the weight it is acting in downward direction we will consider this as negative then we have component of this particular force it is acting in upward direction we will consider this as positive then we have normal pressure it is acting in upward direction of course we will take this as positive so equation will become n plus 62.5 sine 15 minus 10 into 9.81 cos 20 degrees equal to 0 so from here we will get value of normal pressure so it will be equal to 76 newtons now third step is we should find what is the maximum frictional force available for the situation given so maximum frictional force that is limiting friction is always equal to coefficient of static friction multiplied by normal pressure so coefficient of static friction is given to us as 0.3 into normal pressure we have just calculated 76 so from here we will get fm as let me see the value what value we get for FM it is 22.80 newtons so after this we will compare the frictional force required to maintain the equilibrium and the maximum frictional force available for this particular situation now it is clearly visible that frictional force required to maintain the equilibrium is greater than the maximum frictional force available for the given situation so we'll write F equilibrium is greater than F maximum friction available so that means block is not in equilibrium block is not in equilibrium now uh, if the block is not in equilibrium then we have to answer in which direction block is moving so that will depend upon the frictional force we have considered at the start now you see very important point to understand we have considered that frictional force the at the start we have assumed that block is moving in our direction and thus frictional force will act in downward direction so after taking that assumption when we calculated the value of 
frictional force required to maintain the equilibrium we got positive answer so that means our assumption is correct so it means we will say that block will move up the incline so we will say block will move or we will say is moving up the incline so let me repeat it again it is very important part to understand that at the start we have assumed that the block is moving in our direction so thus we consider that frictional force will act in downward direction but when we calculated the value of frictional force we got positive answer that means our assumption was correct fine so it means if friction force is acting in downward direction that means block is moving in upward direction so we'll say block is moving up the incline so this is the answer to the first part whether the block is in equilibrium or not no block is not in the equilibrium it is moving up the incline now what is the next step he says find the magnitude and direction of the friction force now very important point to understand if the block is moving then frictional force will depend upon mu k n because block is in motion so how much is mu k mu k is 0.25 0.25 what is the normal pressure it is 76 so from here we will get value of frictional force or our second answer that is 19 newton regarding its direction we will say it is acting in downward direction as the block is moving up the incline so i hope this particular numerical is clear to you thank you very much